Hello and welcome to another video from sysadminvideos.com. Today we're going to be showing you how you could create something as simple as a uh, online phone book to store your contact information. And since it's online web-based uh, phone book, you know, you could just log in from anywhere you have an internet uh, to retrieve your uh, contact information. Um, I'm going to be using Drupal for this and um, first things first in Drupal you gotta create a new content type so I'm going to content types and then do add content type I'm gonna give it a name since this is phone book type would be phone underscore book the machine readable name that Drupal is gonna use and then uh, to store uh, phone book entries description is optional in the submission form settings um, we don't need a title for a um, phone book uh, record, uh, but since it's mandatory, what I'm going to do is a little trick here. I'm going to convert that um, not employee, but for to first name, and then I don't need body. I can get rid of that one. Then workflow settings. We want it to be published. You don't need to promote to the front page. You don't need attachments for these entries. Then uh, no comments because we're not going to be leaving any comments for the phone book save content type so now that it created a new content type called phone book we're going to be clicking on manage fields to add some fields here we already have first name we're going to add last name select a uh, test text field of type text save And we don't need 60 as the length uh, of the text field. Names are pro most probably not longer than 30 characters. Now we're going to enter the help desk. Please enter the uh, last name. So make it a required field. There's no default value that's required because you know every name is most probably going to be different. And then you use plain text for this field. So now we have first name and last name. Now you can create anything else that you like. For example, people like to have uh, their work number and make it a text field just like the name. Save that field. And phone numbers are usually not more than uh, you know 15 letters. I'm just gonna make it 20. You can say please enter the work number, and you can also give like an example, um, you know, uh, 408, 456, 3400, extension 101. Just, just as an example, freestyle text. In fact, once you start putting these extension and extra characters, you might need a longer text field. Alright, so no default value there, um, required field, and then, oh, you make it an optional because sometimes people might not have a, uh, uh, a work number. Make it plain text. Okay, and then uh, we're going to do a mobile number, which is probably most everybody has nowadays, a cell phone number. Make it a text field again. Text field. Save. Make this text field 30 characters wide and long. Then require. Save field types. Uh, what else do we need? We need a uh, email address. It's very common nowadays. And we'll make it a uh, text field as well. And this we might need longer, uh, 40 characters maybe. Um, put a note, please enter the email address as user at um, domain.com. Make it a required field if you like 
hit save field settings. Okay, now you can add other things like company, title, you know, you can add as many fields as you like. But we'll stop here and um, we'll go back to uh, adding some entries here. So if you go to create content page, uh, now you'll see a new content type called phone book. You click on that. Um, it will uh, take you to the form that we uh, uh, form with fields that we just created. So first name would be uh, Bob, and last name is um, Trump. Work number is one two three four five six four five six. Uh, mobile number copy paste the same number. Email address bob at gmail.com and then save. So let's add a couple more entries here. Uh, phone book, Tracy as a first name, Tracy Black. Work number is some number, some number. Email address is tracy at gmail.com. Okay, we had two entries. We'll, we'll deal with this. So now the next thing we're going to do is create a views for this uh, uh, content type. So you go to views, we'll add a new view, and we're going to give it a name. This is going to be a unique name. We're going to call it phone underscore book. Description can be any visible name. Phone book. We're not going to use tags here. Create a view of type node. Once you hit next, is where you can see a lot of options here. Um, for defaults, you know, we'll uh, we'll uh, give it a um, we'll we'll actually add a page here that we're going to be uh, displaying. First things first, uh, I like to set filter. Um, filter. I want to set a filter for the uh, the node, the the content type of the the node type. Sorry, the node, and then the node type of this new content type that I created is one of phone book update, and and those node types that have been published so node published equals yes just to eliminate any uh, any notes that are not published okay now the next thing is we're going to be adding some fields here uh, from the first field was title title was actually our name uh, so I'm going to be use a little trick here. You do node title add, and then uh, instead of title, I'm going to be calling it first name update, and then uh, let's add some other fields here from our content, which is. We should have a last name. This is the default widget format is plain text. And let's go ahead and try and add multiple fields this time. Since there's only a couple of them. Uh, you want email address, um, mobile number, work number, add. And we're going to be using plain text for everybody. So once you select all of them, it's going to ask for this one by one. Okay, so now that we have, um, now what order you want them to be displayed? So you want the first name, last name, uh, followed by email, followed by work number, so you can just rearrange them, order you like, work number, email, phone number, and email address. Now, 
for page, you can give it a title. Call it phone book. You could use Ajax. And um, you could um, use a, a header, which could be just, um, you know, a, a simple, um, you could type up some heading, like, you know, uh, oh, this is a phone book, you know. Actually, I have it in the title, so you don't need to add it, so just cancel that one. Um, I think this is good. So now, once you, oh, you need a path for a page, how you're going to be accessing the page. Um, I'm just going to type phone dash book update, then save the view. And then you'll nicely see the preview down here, how this is going to show up. Uh, so now if you actually go to this view that we created uh, in the list and then phone book you can see how the, the entries kind of came you know, this is one entry this is one entry so this is first step but this is not how you want it how about displaying this in a traditional table style so let's go back to views and we'll edit this view that we just created and what we're going to do is in the style we're going to make it as uh, a uh, oh, we're going to have it use uh, a table instead of a um, unformatted update and now it's going to give you more options here on how you want to select and sort so what you can do is you can actually club first name should be in the first name but last name uh, put it in the first name with no sub space separated and you can sort them based on the first name uh, you want work number email address those should be undisturbed there's no grouping that you need to do um, just update and now you can see how the preview looks like it looks much much better right now um, now, one thing here, since we clubbed first name and last name, um, you know, the, the header no longer is valid. So we're going to go to our title where we define our first name. We're just going to de name. And then uh, update. And then uh, save. So now if you go to your list view, do uh, Phone book, you can see nicely it's there. That's it. Thanks for watching my video. And again, um, this was a video on just creating a online phone book. Thanks, and y'all have a great day.